Tonight's starting goaltenders wearing different game faces this morning. Bruins goalie Reggie Lemelin looked more like a forward, while Sabre starter Tom Barrasso seemed focused on only one thing. We sincerely believe that he should be a, a very solid candidate for the Vesna, and we have no reason to believe that he won't show that same form coming into the playoff series. The Bruins' choice of Lemelin and not Andy Moog surprising some, but not everybody. Reggie has has been largely responsible for our success this year, and he's playing right now uh, at the top of his game. And, uh, it was a question of him really uh, deserving the first playoff game. After the goaltending, the next biggest factor in the playoffs might be that of the specialty teams. Now, both teams struggled in the regular season in that area, but both see it as a key. If your power play is going and your penalty, penalty killings on, on the mark, uh, uh, you're, you're going to win a lot of games. The Sabres can't afford many mental mistakes tonight. Now, they may be the youngest team in the postseason, but they hope to turn that to their advantage. Everybody's sort of saying that uh, uh, because of our youth that uh, we don't have really a great shot at winning this series, and uh, there's no better way to go in than be underdogs. Okay, yes, the Sabres are underdogs, and with me is Sabres analyst Jim Lorenz. Jim, you have an interesting theory how the Bruins might approach Tom Barrasso. Well, I think, uh, Mike, it's, it's no secret. Everyone around Boston, anyways, is saying that the only way the Sabres can win is if Tom Barrasso has a big series, which that's probably true. Uh, listening to uh, Terry O'Reilly in a taped interview this morning, he basically said the same thing. So what he's saying is that Barrasso is the most valuable player, so we're going to try to get Barrasso off his game. And I think back to a game this season between Boston and Philadelphia, and they were running Hextall at every every time he came out of the net the Bruins were after him I think you're going to see the same thing happen with Brasso I think you're going to see guys like uh, Neely and Sweeney uh, in front of the net try to disrupt Brasso uh, other teams have tried it I think Tommy's going to have to keep in control of himself. He has done it before, but I think that will be the Bruins' strategy tonight. Jim, quick pick right away. Well, I'm taking uh, Buffalo in seven. Okay, thank you very much, Jim. We'll see you later on tonight. Stu, back to you, reporting live from Beantown. Back to you. Thank you, Mike. Remember the last time the Bruins and the Sabres met in the playoffs? The 1983 series went into seven games, and game seven went into overtime, tied at two. Part on this checking line. Here's Park shooting. Sobe makes the save. Oh, there's Park. It's a good series. Um, it won seven games, and uh, you know Park got the winning goal. Uh, you know it, uh, it'd be nice to uh, you know have a series like that. That was uh, that was good hockey, and it was exciting for the fans and all the players. Hopefully, with a different ending this time, Buffalo on top. Okay, thank you, Stu.